Hey, what's going on, boys? I'm just going to go over my current loadout, um, what I bring out to the field. Since I've been getting a lot of questions and everything through uh, Instagram, YouTube, uh, I, I, I kind of sound like a broken record here at this point, but you know what? I th thought it would be about time to make a video. Um, I did tell myself in the beginning that I'll make a video every six months, and I'm a little overdue on my current loadout video. So let's get into it. Right now, I currently carry a HK army bag, as you can see. It's kind of like a little duffel bag just to carry everything. Mostly used for paintball, but I figured since I play a lot of speed, I see a lot of people on the field, you know, using these, especially at, you know, tournaments or just in general. This thing is my lifesaver. I don't have to carry anything extra. I see people use wagons and everything, but I mean, this, since it's just me, I like using the HK army bag itself. Kind of opening up the bag here. Um, I do run Ace Tech Tracer BBs, 0.25s or 0.20s. Um, it's kind of random, so I just usually get these from time to time. I have my current tank with me. It's a Ninja 50 4500. It's fairly light. Uh, I think this was about 170 retail price. Um, it is pretty light. I like using this a lot when it comes to um, running speed games and everything because it virtually feels like nothing. The other thing that I have currently in my in my pack is a speed belt, but not just any speed belt, it's the Cubby Soft speed belt from Spain. Uh, if you're looking for something paintball esque style with the Velcro patch or Velcro straps and everything, this is definitely for you. Um, I like this a hundred times more over the Speed QB belt. This is just something that um, <clears throat> I've been running for the past month and it's been so good to me so far. Um, more Ace Tech Tracer BBs, but in red, again, these are just 0.25s. So I got the normal size 0.25 BBs. Um, I actually like buying regular BBs from my local Airsoft store, Airsoft Extreme. They make pretty decent BBs, um, and I know they're all over California. So I got the 0.25s, which come in a pack of 4,000 for $10. Recently, I just purchased their Tracer BBs, the 0.25s. I think that's the only one they sell, but these have been pretty good for me. They come, they, I think they sell them for about $20 or 4,000, which is more than what Ace Tech provides, which they usually offer is 2,700. These light up just as well as Ace Tech. I think I'm gonna definitely make the switch um, after the recent um, speed scrim that we just did recently. They light up just as well. I've had no issues with these. I usually like wearing ankle braces. Um, these are from Arise. Uh, they've been okay so far. Um, definitely notice a difference in comfortability. And especially if I'm doing speed and being my late 20s again, I, these help me out a lot. Like, no joke. You gotta have that Odin speed loader, of course. Always, always go with the speed loader. How, how often, like, this is definitely the most helpful tool you can have out there on the field. You can bring this with you on the field or anything. If you play speed games, make sure you just fill it up and just load your mags and everything. And you're all set, you're good to go, you're good to go. I carry a, uh, on occasion, if I'm running my high kappa and I want to run a regulator through it, I do run my tap airsoft bag um, with the SpeedQB M4 pouches, of course. The quality on the SpeedQB mag pouches is a little bit questionable because they do loosen over time. I like running my mags upside down for sure, but over time they do loosen and your mags will fall out. So I'm going to definitely make the switch to another company if I can find one, maybe cheaper on Amazon. Um, I have a dump pouch in here just in case. It's the SpeedQB one I bought when I first started airsofting. Um, fairly small, extra glove. I think this is a mechanics glove. Got an extra line, of course. This is my main line that I use. I think I got this from Tap or Amped Airsoft. Yeah, anyways, I got it customized. It says um, my handle, which is I, I Anthony. I kind of want to backtrack to the speed belt because I do carry a lot of mags on here. Um, the main mags that I usually go for are PTS mags, and I've recently acquired these smaller PTS 170 round mags that look little stubby ones. I, I enjoy these a lot. I, I used these for the first time just last night and uh, the scrims that we had. More PTS mags for sure, because you know, I got the speed QB ones. I do have these other 170, I think 190 round mags from Evike. I think those are like, these were like $14. I had these in a few of my videos. I like them. It's just that they don't really fit well with my current G and G build. Um, so I have to put like a roll of one layer of electrical tape around it. So that way it can fit. With that being said, you just kind of have to see what works. So I know for sure PTS mags will definitely fit any gun properly. On this top part here, I just kind of carry my gloves, just regular mechanics gloves. I think I got this on e-bike for, it was like a dual pair, completely covered. 
for about $30. Um, and another pair of fingerless uh, open strap gloves that I got on Amazon for like $12 or something. I also got my Wolverine regulator, just in case I want to run my high kappa. Have that there just in case. Uh, let's see if I have anything in these pockets here. I just got some Dove body spray. You never know when you need it on the field, especially running a ton of scrims with a bunch of dirty guys. I know it sounded kind of gay, but that's all right. It's cool. 2021, can't judge, right? <laughs> Going into the main pocket here. I got my dye mask. This is just uh, usually what I use. It's just a dye I5 mask. If you wear glasses, it's very comfortable. Um, with that being said, this is just gonna be my main mask for the time being or until I change the paintball and there's something else from EVS, Empire or something. I got my logo right there. Going into this first pocket right here, uh, I do use a lot of supplements. Like I said, I'm an older guy. I like using a lot of supplements. So I bought some stuff from Onnit just to try out like Shroom Tech, it's supposed to be a vitamin for performance and endurance uh, right before I start a game or anything like that or before I start the day. Um, I have, shoot, I have some transfuse here. Lo I love using transfuse, just kind of put in your water like electrolyte powder. Uh, keeps me going, keeps me pumped throughout the day. Uh, I got this free trial from Audit for some vitamins um, for Total Human. It's pretty good. Uh, it's kind of like night and day support. It's been kind of munching on that for the past week um, as we are filming this. Um, and it's been pretty good. I tried Raze a few days or like a month ago and I swear every time I, I use something from Raze, I get a headache immediately. It, Raze to me tastes like five hour, five hour energy. Just, it's gross. Uh, let's see, I got a granola bar from Nature Valley, of course. Uh, more Transfuse, uh, more Total Human, a lighter somehow. And I like the little um, jerky bars that they got from on it. It's the warrior bar. Um, it's gluten free. It's all right. It's Buffalo, literally a Buffalo jerky stick. Um, you know, it it kind of keeps me going throughout the day. I don't, I don't have like any crazy food cravings right after the game or anything after running around so much. So these are pretty decent for me. In this, in the second pocket here, uh, I got electrical tape, controller for my drone, some more tools, pack for my O-rings and stuff like that, and just more tools in general. I know it's a lot of shit to go through. Um, if you ever see me, I, I always will have stickers or patches. I'll get you uh, extra batteries for my Streamlight TLR1, uh, Q-tips to try and clean out my Kappa during and after games, um, battery bag for my LiPo GoPro batteries, another battery gone, gone missing, another patch. Uh, I'm not sure if I have anything in this bag. Let me just double check. No, nothing in that one. I carry all of my gear and everything else into this bag, uh, which is the most important thing for me. Uh, I just got all my gear in there. I don't know what you're doing, Tater. Tater's spazzing out over there. So for now, let's go ahead and we'll move on to the case club. All right, boys, you've already seen this case, so I'm not gonna bother going into too much detail about everything that's in it. I literally just bought this on Amazon used. Uh, I feel like a broken record again every time I mention this on stream or anything like that uh, So you can just find this on Amazon literally case club makes multiple versions of the pistol case I don't know if they make the same one that I have anymore. I have my stickers from over time blowback masters Be sure to check them out. That's my sponsor cubby soft definitely check them out Of course, it's a pistol case. I use for my high kappas. Uh, I kind of keep both of my high kappa uh, Adapters in here. Of course, I have the hex screw and some that's why I keep the guns. I have two 4.3s in here. Here's the, the fully auto 4.3 and then the silver 4.3 that I typically run. Of course, I keep the GoPro in here in the case. H-Tech Lighter BT Tracer unit that I currently have. Uh, I have a bag for all of my LiPos. My current LiPos are so small because I run a Polestar Jack. Um, of course, you know, more stickers and everything from my sponsor and from myself. So if you guys ever again see me on the field, hit me up and I'll get you stickers. Um, and then of course, just some tools if I needed to fix anything right off the bat and some more hex screw, you know, um, tools. One thing I forgot to mention is my current gear tactics build. Um, as we're making this video, I know it's kind of late, um, but I do have the Euro Tactics build, which did come out to a little over $400. And I have the Monk Customs handrail um, I think that was about $80 as well, but so far it's on a GNG body. Um, this is my current speed QB tournament based, uh, rifle. All right, boys, that concludes today's video. Um, again, just always message me on Instagram. If you guys need anything, um, I'll try and get back to you as best I can, or you can reach me, uh, through discord server that I will put up a link for in the description. Um, and as always stay safe, have fun. It's just airsoft. We're just grown ass men playing with toy guns. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.